In this video, I'm going to show you how you can correct what error 53 is. It already remains in many and mostly in these devices like iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max. So we are going to show you how to solve this step by step and effectively. If you are trying to restore the iPhone, you may have found out what this error or another number is. It doesn't matter here. The method that I am going to show you works the same way. This happens when the iPhone is changed, for example, like the screen and what face ID is. Well, Apple detects that it is not an original part. It puts what is a generic part and this causes this error when you try to restore what the device is with the iTunes tool. Then it is definitely because they have already changed the part, whether screen or face ID or another piece that has information. So to solve this, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to uninstall the iTunes tool. It is highly recommended to do this step. For this, we go to the control panel. Here we write control panel, we enter. And we go to programs and programs and features. Being here, you are going to look for the iTunes tool. In my case, it doesn't come out here because I have it downloaded from the Microsoft Store application or case. So in order for me to be able to uninstall it, I have to do it from here. I hit the little flag here. I get what is the application and I give it well here to uninstall and I uninstall it perfectly. Once you do that uninstall step, you must restart your computer. So we give it here and we give it. So let's restart. In this case, we give it to restart and there we wait for it to turn on again. Well, once it's turned on, I'm going to put the iPhone here. Perfect. And now we're going to go to our browser and you're going to enter what this website is, which is the official website of this channel. You're going to touch the link that I'm going to leave you in the first set comment. You're going to go down to the end of the text and here you're going to download the version that corresponds to your operating system. If you have 64 bits, download 64 bits. So they will download it. In my case, I'm going to download this 64. And there it is already downloaded. To make this process effective, you must also have at least 30 GB of space available on your hard drive. So you already know once downloaded, we double click it to install. Here we give it like this and we give it to install and there we wait. We give launcher here to start what the program is. An extra recommendation, if you see that it gives you an error, then deactivate the antiviruses temporarily or until you finish the process. Here you will see what this message is that says that you need to install iTunes or Driven. In my case, I am going to install what the drivers are. So I give it here and there. Well, simply wait and that's it. Installed. We give it to OK. Here it is highly recommended that you use a USB cable that is of good original quality so that the process goes out perfectly well. Here we're going to hit this button that says go flat. Perfect. You will get all these options that are versions of the operating system. In my case, this is the last one. If you already have the operating system downloaded, you can import it from here or K. But in my case, I don't have it downloaded. So I'm going to download it, which in this case would be the latest version. We give it to downloader and here it will depend on the internet speed. You have to download what the operating system is. In my case, it tells me that it will download in approximately five minutes. So here I am going to wait that time for the operating system to be downloaded. Remember that the download time will depend on your internet connection and remember that you open the tool. If you do not have the device in recovery mode, you should go to this part says smart frass. This is where you are going to do the restorations or key here. Very important. Look at this option that says retain. This option is to retain data. For example, it updates you, so to speak, what the iPhone is but it retains your data. That is, it does not delete your information. I do not recommend this option very much because it usually gives several errors. So the one I recommend is this one that says key flaco mode. This will delete everything that your IF has. That is all the information that your iPhone has as photo video. Everything is going to be deleted. So, you know, by doing this step, but if you are going to solve what error 53 is and any other error that you already have loaded, what the operating system is, I'm going to put this over here and here we have what the flags button is. Remember to leave this option checked so that it gives you fewer errors or Kai. If you see that it gives you a lot of errors, you can use this one that says fake flax. So he leaves it marked here. What you downloaded and we give it to flash and here again, and here the iPhone is going to be put into recovery mode. And here it is simply waiting until the process begins, which is to prepare what the operating system is here. You are going to see this in quick camera so that the video does not become so long. And as you can see, the process is already over here. We can disconnect what is the iPhone and here it will go up normally. 
So folks, that is the ultimate solution for that error and many iTunes errors. I hope it works for you. Remember that you are going to find the tool in the link that I am going to leave you in the first fixed comment of this video or there you simply have to wait until it turns on. And that's it. As you can see, the iPhone is already working perfectly. So don't forget to leave your like and share.